Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Hello everyone. Uh, today we we'll see how to create this uh, neon effect in here that you can see. Looks really cool. So we we'll see how to do that using Adobe Photoshop. All right, fantastic. So let's get to it. All right. So open your Adobe Photoshop, and as you can see, still have my PST still open. Uh, you can find this PST in the link from the description below. You can download it in there if you want. But we'll create a new one, so we'll go to File New. And for the measures in here, you can choose whatever measures you want, of course. But I will just keep it in these measures in here. So we press OK. Now I'll go and grab the background that I want to use. So we we'll just use this one in here. Uh, you will find this in the link from the description below if you want to use it. So now I will just rotate it by pressing Shift like this, and I will make it a little bit bigger. All right, and press Enter. Alright, now uh, the first thing we'll add is uh, an adjustment color. So I will add uh, a hue saturation color. So we'll put more darkness or more, you know, shadow to our uh, image in here. So I will go to this adjustment in here and we choose hue saturation. And in the lightness in here, I will make uh, minus 96. So it will make it darker. Alright. I'll just delete this background in here. All right. Now I will go to text in here, and I will just one click and type neon. And for uh, the front and font I'm using, it's called Comfortable Regular, I believe. Yeah. Uh, you can. Uh, I will put the link where you can download it uh, if you want and use it. All right. Now I will press Control A. This will uh, select the whole uh, canvas. Uh, this way, we'll find this alignment adjust in here. You can just one click and another click, one click in here, and it will make it in the center. All right, now we press Control D to deselect. Okay, so uh, the first thing we'll do will convert this uh, text into a uh, uh, smart object. So uh, we just right click and go to convert to smart objects and one click to it. Uh, the reason why we want to convert it to a smart object because when we uh, done our effects we can easily go back and change the text wherever we want so the, this way we'll uh, have this option you can just uh, maybe if you don't want to keep it in nylon or maybe you can you know change the text you can easily do that all right now i will uh, make a copy of it so i will make uh, three copy so I press Ctrl G three times, one, two, three. All right, now I will go this one in here and I will call it blur because we're gonna blur it. All right, and I will just uncheck the three in here and I will go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and I will put 50 pixel radius in here and I will press OK. As you can see now I would go and check this one in here and the color I'm using is just red uh, it's pure red in here and that's what uh, what I'm using in here all right now uh, the first uh, size that we add in this uh, text in here so I would just double click to it this will open the layer style dialog and the first thing we'll add is a drop shadow so we we'll go to drop shadow in here and in the blending mode we we'll just keep it multiply in 75 opacity but for the angle in here i will change it to minus 90 and make sure in here uh, use global light is checked this way you can you don't have like to change it every time you want to uh, mess with the angle All right now i will go to the distance in here and i will uh, choose 90 pixel and in the size, I will uh, choose 32 uh, pixel for the size. All right, now I will go to the inner shadow. And uh, for the blending mode, I will change it to linear burn in here. 
and uh, as you can see because we already checked use global light we'll find this minus 90 in here all right now we'll go to the distance and uh, for the distance I will just keep it 4 but for the size I will just make it 20 or 24 pixel all right now I will go to the outer grow in here and I will change first the, the color to a white color and I will change the blending mode to color dodge like this and I will just uh, we'll just make the size to 250 pixel all right now I will go to the bevel and emboss in here and in the size I will keep it inner bevel and uh, smooth for the technique and in the depth in here I will make it 50% and direction keep it up and size uh, just keep it 4 but in the soften make it 16 like this and the angle in here found is minus and 90 uh, for, but for the attitude in here we will choose 11 and for the highlight mode just keep it screen but make the opacity for 100% and the multiply just make it 80 like this all right now uh, the last uh, one we'll add is a color overlay so uh, I will change the blending mode first to linear dodge add and I will change the opacity for like 50% and now we'll mess with the colors so we we'll just add this yellowish color in here because I want to add this you know this yellow in here like this and in the colors in here you can just feel free to uh, experience the color you want maybe you'll find some really interesting colors that you like all right so we just keep it like this all right okay and press okay so this is the our first size that we're gonna use for this text in here now i will go to the other copy in here and i will check it and for this one I will uh, double click to it and the first thing I will do in the general blending I will make the fill opacity to 0% and then I will go to the drop shadow in here and I will just add the same uh, levels or the same values I used for the first one so we just put 90% and the size I will put, put 32 and I will go to the outer glow in here and I will add add the same white color in here and I will change the blending mode to color dodge like so and I will put the size 50 250 pixel now I will go directly to color overlay and this time I will put the opacity for like 12 or 15 uh, uh, percent and I will change the blending mode to linear dodge add and I will ch change it to this orange color in here all right, let's make it stand out like that, as you can see. All right, as you can see, I like it. Press OK. All right, so we're almost done. So the last thing we'll add uh, is this text in here, and we just uh, will make it call it blur again. Let's call it blur two. All right. Now I will go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur and this time I will uh, make the radius pixel into 80% like that and I press ok and I will change the blending mode to color dodge and we're done with our text as you can see now we need like to make uh, the background a little bit lighter because uh, it's a nine effect it will uh, make the background light, lighten it a, a, little, a little bit so we can easily do that by going to the hue saturation in here and we just one click to the layer mask and we'll pick a brush and we'll make the opacity for like 20 or 10 uh, percent and the flow 100 and with the black color we'll just uh, just you know delete a little bit of this darkness like that as you can see just a little bit to make it look as it reflects the light on the background like that all right something like so not that much
All right. As you can see. Okay, looking good. I like it. Let's add a little bit more in here. All right. Okay, so we'll add another um, layer on top of everything. We we'll just uh, with with our red color. I will just try to paint above it like that. Or just to give it this reflect this this light like so. And I will change the blending mode to lighter color. And I will put down the opacity for like thirty percent like so as you can see all right so and i think we're done but uh, let me show you like you can easily change text so i can just double click on whatever text of those so we just double click to it and i can easily go and type whatever we want maybe a uh, free and we just save it maybe it's in control s and if I go back, I will find it in here already saved. All right, there you go. So I hope that you enjoy and you like this tutorial and it was a little bit helpful for you. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and comment and you know wait for more tutorials to come. And have a nice day. Thank you for watching.